Hey, what's happening guys? So Matteo Alemani set to leave Barcelona at the end of the season, with the report suggesting Aston Villa made him a lucrative offer which the Catalan side were unable to match. While there may be an element of truth to that, Alemani simply isn't the type of individual to make decisions based on monetary benefit for himself, and I'll explain why in a minute. As I see it, there's three main reasons behind why Alemani is departing Barca a year before his current deal expires. First and foremost, he was finding it very difficult to plan for next season because of the club's precarious financial position. Secondly, he was completely against the idea of re-signing Lionel Messi, which looks increasingly likely after his falling out with PSG, due to the disastrous impact it would have on the club's accounts. Thirdly, and perhaps most importantly from Villa's perspective, he sees a long-term project for himself in Birmingham, with the chance to work alongside fellow Spaniard Unai Emery something he feels can take the club back to the heights of yesteryear. Curiously though, Alemani is already committed to completing Barca's transfer business this summer, so it'll be interesting to see how that dynamic plays out once he's officially employed by Villa. For those unaware of Alemani's career trajectory, he was managing director, CEO, and president of RCD Mallorca between 1990 and 2005, before making a return for another year during the 0910 season. During his presidency, Mallorca lifted the Copa del Rey against all odds in 2003, which was only three years after Florentino Perez won the elections at Real Madrid in 2000 and offered him the position of general director of the club, which he rejected out of loyalty to the project he had then felt was incomplete. Alemani then took a seven-year hiatus from the sport before returning in a directorial role at Valencia in 2017 after La Liga president Javier Tebas recommended him to owner Peter Lim. At the time, Valencia were languishing in the lower half of the table, and Alemani immediately took the ballsy decision of appointing Marcelino as head coach ahead of Kiki Setien, who was favoured to take over in the eyes of all involved in Spanish football. This, along with taking the high-risk strategy of spending big in the summer and banking on the squad to qualify for the Champions League, paid off. Unfortunately, Peter Lim decided he wanted to reduce the risk as well as cost of the team two years later, which caused a falling out with Alemani, who stood by his belief that doing so would leave Valencia in tatters. As it turns out, Alemani was bang on the money, but that didn't stop him from losing his job anyways. A couple of years later, he took over a Barcelona side who were at their lowest point in two decades and helped them get back on track with some shrewd work in the market, which included offloading the likes of Coutinho and Umtiti while bringing in names such as Lewandowski and Rafinha. This is precisely why they're on the verge of winning their first title in four seasons, which by their high standards is a bloody lifetime, while only conceding 11 goals throughout the entire league campaign. Needless to say, there's plenty of others who deserve credit for Barca's turnaround, but the fact that Laporta is gutted about Alemani's departure showcases just how important his role was in helping the club rediscover their mojo. As I've already mentioned in previous videos, it's a brilliant time to be a Villa fan at the minute, and it's incredible that there's even more good news pouring in. While we've seen an established top six over the last decade or so, there's every chance in the world that becomes a top eight the way the likes of Newcastle and Villa are going right now, and I'm pretty sure everyone but Sunderland and Birmingham City supporters will be hoping that is the case in a sport where the same old teams compete for major honours year in, year out. Cheers for tuning in, folks. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have in mind. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.